today we are going to present about the most dangerous game. For the first, we have to know about the other. The author of the more dangerous game, he named Richard Connell. Yay! When, when the people asked, when he began to write, Richard Connell said he could not remember a time when he did not write. His father edited the news in the New York, and the young Richard began to reporting on the baseball game when he was only 10 years. For this, he was playing 10 cents a game. At 16 years old, Connors became the city editor for the newspaper. He went on to attend Howard University, where he was an editor for the board, the Howard Lampoon, a Hammer magazine, and the Kim Sun. While working on the newspaper, he wrote an editorial that shaped his citizens a publisher. That editorial has unexpected effects. The publisher sued the Kim Sun, but also for Connell's a job on a New York City paper. From there, Connell's moved to a job in advertising when World War I began. He continued to write during his enlistment, editing the Camp Weekly newspaper, Gas Attacks. After the war, Connell's returned to the Adventisting, but only for a very brief period, until a short story that he wrote has published. A Connell was short story writer. Many of the, his story, including the most dangerous game, were later returned into the movie. In 1925, Connell moved to the California to the focus on writing film scripts. He worked on a variety of the film for several different studios. His film credit include Meet John Doe, presenting Lily Marsh and Seven Fest. At this time of his death, he was working on a play. Connor is the best remembered for the story of the more dangerous game. Rick was born in 1833 and died in 1949. Hey guys, today I'm going to be presenting to you guys about the summary of The Most Dangerous Game by Richard Connell. While Rainsford is traveling across the Caribbean Sea heading towards Brazil in his yacht with Whitney, his friend, it was really dark and it was really hard to see through the moonless night. During midnight while Rainsford is about to sleep, as the yacht keeps traveling, he heard loud noises. He believes it's from a pistol somewhere. So he decided to go out to the rail and look for some source of those gunshots. While he was looking for gunshots, he leaned towards the rail. His pipe fell off and he reaches for it, until it was too late when he fell off the boat into the ocean, as the act keeps going further and further away from him. So he decided to swim towards the direction where the source of the gunshot is from, which is to the island. After he reached the shore, he fell asleep. The next day, he wakes up during the afternoon and decides to investigate the area. He finds evidence of hunted animals with blood all over the place. He also finds footprints of what he believes to be the hunter. So he decided to follow the footprint because he was really tired and needed a place to sleep. He finally reaches a really big mansion. He decided to go in because he was really hungry and exhausted. The first thing he faced was a man, a really tall man, pointing a gun straight at him. He explained his situation to the man, but he seemed not to understand anything at all. Another man came down, known later as General Sarov. General Sarov is the owner of the house, and he explains to Ivan, or that tall guy who was pointing a gun at Rainford, to put his gun down. Rainsford talks to him how he came to the island and how he fell off the act. Both of them have a good discussion about hunting animals and start off later during the night, introduce Rainsford to a game, a three-day hunting game where each of them will hunt each other for three days. Rainsford refuses to play the game because he was really tired and he wakes up the next day having no choice but to play the game or die. In the morning, Rainsford immediately goes to the jungle on the first day of the hunt, Rainsford got up on a tree, wishing to hide from Sarov. 
but for the matter of fact that Sauron was really good hunter, he finds Rainsford really easily. In order to make the game more fun, he went under the tree and managed to smoke. Rainsford coughed and he knew that Sauron was there. In order to make the game more fun and exciting, Sauron decided to let him go and keeps on hunting. On the second day, Rainsford built traps in order to kill Sarov. Sarov was really smart and he avoided most of the trap. He got injured by Rainsford trap and he went back home with just minor injuries. On the third day, Rainsford managed to kill Evan and Sarov's best hunting dogs by his dead traps. In the final stage, Rainsford jumps off a cliff into the ocean. Sarov was really disappointed by his act and feel a bit cheated from winning the game. So Sarov went back to his house. He went to his bedroom to realize that Rainsford isn't dead. He was there in his wait bedroom waiting for him. Rainsford explained that he swam across the ocean that is faster than walking um, through the island. And in the end, Rainsford won the game, and Sarov decided to let Rainsford go. But Rainsford didn't want that. In the end, the story ends up with the phrase, he had never slept in a better bed. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the reason why this story is considered a gothic fiction. The most dangerous game was genre as an adventurous fiction, but it is also a gothic fiction. This short story has all the topical gothic themes. For example, the creepy setting that reflects on the dark character, which is the general throne. Kono set the tone of the story for the whole entire story. From where they were on the boat to when Renford won the game. Connor also ramped up the tone once our hero is on the island. The place of the gothic there complete with the mansion and the mystery striking. Some of the gothic elements of this story is the setting and some mood. The story took place on an island that there were no escape. The rock in the water making it even more impossible to leave. The main character was staying in the mansion inside the jungle. This setting made it even more gothic. The mansion has the creepy feeling. The feature of the mansion made it even more real. The iron gate step stone which helped create the setting to be more creepier and gothic. Next up is the mood. There are three main moods in the story. Number one is tension, two, nervous, and three, happy. The tension happened when the hunt was starting and doing the hunt. Nervous feeling was when Rainford first saw the mansion and met General Swap, and happy when Rainford won the hunt between the death and the survival. Another special element that every gothic story must have is suspense. Suspense is the feeling of excitement and tension mixed together. In the story, Kono built many suspension from the very start of the story. The story starts with a conversation to characters, Rainford and Whitney. The conversation was about the setting. Off there to the right, somewhere is a large island, said Whitney. It's rather a mystery. What island is it? Rainsford asked. The old charts call it Ship Trap Island, Whitney replied. A suggestive name, isn't it? Sailors have a curious dread of the place, I don't know why. Some superstition. Clearly, the Ship Trap Island gives the mood that emphasizes the gothic theme. The island is characterized by Jack Hall, dense jungle and cliff. 
Connell didn't only build suspense on the setting, but he also built suspense by action. This suspense happened when Rainford realized he, that General Sroth was hunting human for his hobby. The general was saving him for another day for sports. The corset was the cat and he was the mouse. Then it was that Rainford knew the full meaning of the I will not lose my nerve. I will not. Rainford said. If you know the story, General Sloth let Rainford go the first time. Suspense start when his final trap has failed. Connell creates suspense in short and ten sentences with a powerful description. Right. So this is about the theme of the most famous game. The first theme is about the competition. The one that's a dangerous game doesn't uh, send you the scrambling to drag them, it's complex part. But don't be fooled, stop! It's, uh, the story is about hunting! It's that which arises from relationship between the hunter and the hunter. And at the beginning of the story, Linford and Salaf are present as equal. Both characters are well a big game hunter. As the story unfolds, however, the dialogue change, Lenford is tossed into the position of the hunter. However, he tries to undermine the game by setting a trap for the hunters. Lenford's form of hunting is passive, while his style of is active. So, the relationship between the hunter and the hunter is not only displayed in the resolution of the story, but also through various uh, passage. For example, South uh, describes several interaction with animal that the, that result in injury on his part. So, for the second theme, the modern this game like is about the competition. This story is about hunting. It's not. All, all is the strongest and the fastest, but it is about story that look at competition from uh, Italy per perspective. Yeah, oh yeah. And for the third theme, it's violent. When it comes to fear, Linford is begin by basically the myth of possibility that anyone has the capacity to feel the fear when they are hunted. He prepared to face his fear by simple fact that he show up in sort of bedroom and he kill him. Yeah. Yes. Now is the symbol of the Borderlands game. The first symbol is jungle. Oh, do 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 do. John Cena. Okay. The jungle serves as a powerful symbol of sort of tangency and chaos within the island. The jungle is also emblem of the decision and Linford lost the control because because it impeded his effort to return to civilization. The morning he awakened on the island is shore. Oh yeah! So the second symbol is Ship Trap Island. The Ship Trap Island symbolizes a similarly enchanted legion where the laws govern normal human discord don't exist in many ways. The island is an and it is put society under the rules of silent seeking to interminate other people instead of sustaining them. Whoa, yes. Thank you!